Hey everyone, how you doing? It's Vicious and welcome to a brand new tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to convert .spx, which is the speaks codec, over to FLAC or MP3 so that you can import that into your video editors. This is a direct response to a previous tutorial I did where I showed you how to convert FLV videos into MP4 so that you could put those into your video editors. Uh, to this day, that tutorial is probably the one that I get the most attention on. I do check my messages almost every day, and I will respond to comments when necessary. But I noticed throughout the comments on that video, the uh, number one problem I saw with anyone who couldn't follow it was that they were not getting the same files I was getting. I was working with H.264, which is my video, and I was working with AAC for my audio. Those that were running into issues following the tutorial were getting .spx files, and nobody knew what they were, how to work with them, having major issues and so today I'm finally going to go ahead and bring everyone a resolution to that issue. So let's uh, go ahead and get into the details. So 99% of the people following that previous tutorial and probably looking into this tutorial as well were those using the uh, XSplit broadcasting software and they were using the free version of it. If you go into this and you go to your settings you'll see that you have an option to record to AAC which is what I was using with uh, that prior tutorial but this is only available to those who have the paid version. If you have the free version, you're restricted to use speaks. So this is the main difference. When you use this codec, you're gonna get that .spx file. When you use this, you get to have the AAC file. But if you're not gonna pay for it, you can't use it. If you are paying for it, then definitely go ahead and choose the AAC option, and you won't have to mess with this tutorial at all. The other thing is, if you're using the free version, you're restricted to use FLV but with the paid version you can use mp4 so you can avoid using the last tutorial so depending on your situation you know that's going to be what you're stuck with but if you are stuck with it and you're on a budget because you're using the free version of XSplit today I'm bringing you a free way to convert these files and fix them and use them in your editor on that note let me go ahead and mention that I'm doing the recording of this tutorial on OBS which is a really good competitor to XSplit and it's a free open source program and it can convert uh, it can record directly to AAC and MP4 and all that right away without paying for anything so I think it's a great alternative now let me uh, open up some websites here starting from left to right FLV extract is what we used in the prior tutorial to take the FLV files produced from XSplit and rip out the raw streams which was the AAC file and the H.264 file but in in the case of someone who has the free version, you're going to get the H.264 file and the .spx. I noticed that when I went to download the tools for this tutorial, I found a newer updated version of FLV Extract. And it's your option to go ahead and use this one if you want, because this is the one I'll use in this tutorial. You can get that at www.videohelp.com slash tools slash FLV Extract. Next is going to be the program that's going to convert .spx over to a usable format for us. In this case, I'll show you how to use FLAC because FLAC is lossless. That way we won't lose any quality when we convert it over, when we import it into our video editor, and then we can do our final conversion when we render out our final video. Now, funny enough, as you can see, I tested tons of programs over here and all of them, except for one, even if they advertised to be free programs, they were actually just hiding the fact that they're free trials and they want anywhere from 20 to 40, $50 for converting this stuff over. And uh, you know, my tutorials are always based on free and open source software. If you're using the free version of XSplit, why would you go pay for a conversion? You might as well pay for the XSplit license. So I ended up finding an answer for you. But the funny thing about the answer is it wasn't a converter that I found that works for us. It was actually a player. Music B is a music manager and player, and so it is a free, totally free program, and you can go get that from getmusicb.com, and the download page, you just put slash download.html. Now, even though this is a player, it does have a built-in convert format feature, and that is what we'll be using to convert these SPX files. The other thing I'll mention is that if you do want to convert to another format other than FLAC, MP3 will probably be the next best choice, they don't include the mp3 codec in the program because of licensing issues so if you go to their uh, slash help slash encoding page you can find the link to go here and download the mp3 codec i'll show you how to install that and use it the next thing is i mentioned the open broadcaster software 
I just want to let you know that, hey, this is a great program. And if you don't want to have to go through the trouble of converting things, you might want to give it a try because it's totally free and you have nothing to lose. I, I, last time I used it was a long time ago and they had just the regular version. I see now that they've come up with a multi-platform version, which is promising even more features than what the current version has. Also, tons and tons of plugins and things. So it looks like almost anything you can imagine that matches XSplit probably is already in the program, but they're also probably going to surpass it with all these plugins. That's the power of open source software when you have so many great minds pointing to a single goal. It usually overtakes what a single company can produce for a paid piece of software. So I'm not pushing anything. Obviously, it's a free piece of software, so I just want to let you know it's out there. And let's go ahead and get into the tutorial part now, shall we? So XSplit, I just had that up there for demonstration purposes, just to let you know why you're getting those .spx files. And this is the reason why right here. We'll go ahead and lower that down. And here is just a little tiny recording I did for a few seconds with that free version of XSplit. And what we would have done in that last tutorial is gone into FLV Extract, and we would have dragged our file into this, and we would have made sure we extract the video, the audio, and the time codes. And unfortunately, this looks like it can convert it for us to MP4 and M4A and MKV and MKA. It doesn't convert the audio. It still leaves the SPX file in touch. So I might as well just leave it at no remux. Frames per second, auto, remove 10 files. I'm going to uncheck that. And we'll start this. And right away, we just got our three files. So here is the .264, this is our video. Here is an, a text file with our timestamps, and here's the dreaded .spx file. Now, what we have the .spx file, we'll go into this Music B program, and I'm just gonna go File, Open File or URL, and I'm gonna browse to my desktop. And there's our .spx, so it's gonna open it up. And the now playing list, I'm just going to select it and I'm going to go back over here and choose tools and I'm going to go to convert format. So we have it selected. I'm going to choose FLAC and I'm going to say put it to the same source folder I have now. I'm going to leave everything else at defaults and hit proceed. And again, this is a small file, so it takes no time at all. But here you go, a .flac file. So this here would work on Sony Vegas or Adobe Premiere and probably most other editors. FLAC is what I would think is the best format to use because it's, again, a lossless conversion. So you're already working with a lossy format with that .spx. You don't want to lose more quality by converting it to another lossy format before you end up importing it into your editing process. However, if you don't want to use FLAC, go ahead and follow that link I told you about, the pulling it up one more time to show you, from the Music B site, help slash encoding, grab the uh, MP3 lane bundle and download that, and I'll show you what you get. You're going to get this folder, and it's got the lame application and the DLL. I'm not sure if you need both, but I went ahead and grabbed both, and you want to go to your program files and I'm on a 64 bit so I have program files x86 and I'm going to go into music B and I'm going to go into codex and I dragged the lame application the exe and also I put the DLL in there once I put those both in there I went ahead and restarted the program and now if I go into tools and convert format I need to select the file first by the way tools convert now I can choose the mp3 option and we'll try that one more time and here we have now an mp3 file so definitely between mp3 and FLAC one of those two formats is going to work for you with your video editor and now you can go ahead and follow the rest of that prior tutorial to get those converted over and into your video editor matching your frame rate not losing any quality getting everything good fast all with free tools so I hope that this tutorial was able to bring you the knowledge you needed to work with those files and tie up any loose ends. And it's good to be back in the recording game. So I just want to say thank you to everyone who comments on the videos and pays attention to all the things I post because I love having you guys to help out. That's what I do every day for both work and for play. So this was Vicious, and I'll see you guys next time.